This video will cover the installation of Philwright's FR1614 fuel transfer pump. First, remove the port plug from the inlet of the pump. To prepare the suction hose, slide one of the provided hose clamps over one of the provided hoses. Then, insert the strainer into the end of the hose and secure it in place by tightening the hose clamp. Next, select one of the provided hose barbs and apply thread sealant to it. Insert the hose barb into the inlet of the pump. The inlet is marked with an arrow pointing in. Use a wrench to secure. Then place a hose clamp on the other end of the suction hose and slide the hose over the barb. Secure it in place by tightening the hose clamp. Remove the port plug from the outlet of the pump. Next, select one of the provided hose barbs and apply thread sealant to it. Insert the hose barb into the outlet of the pump. The outlet is marked with an arrow pointing away from the pump. Use a wrench to secure. Then place a hose clamp on the other end of the discharge hose and slide the hose over the barb. Secure it in place by tightening the hose clamp. Then place the remaining hose clamp over the other end of the hose and insert the nozzle into the hose. Secure it in place by tightening the hose clamp. To provide power to your pump, connect the battery clips provided to a suitable 12 volt DC supply, capable of delivering the necessary current and voltage. Attach the red clip to the positive battery terminal. Attach the black clip to the negative battery terminal or the vehicle frame. If you have any questions about battery installation, please contact Philwright Technical Support. Once your hoses are installed and your battery clamps are hooked up, simply slide the inlet hose into the container you're pumping from. Put the nozzle into the equipment you're filling up and flip the switch to on. Thank you for watching this Philwright installation video.